हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रूवल शूट वन रियल टाइम सिनेरियो यू कैन सी प्रॉब्लम इज प्रॉब्लम हियर प्रॉब्लम इज लैन यूजर्स आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस रिसोर्सेज ऑन द वेब सर्वर 192.0.2.1 here we have one web server you can see the ip address of this web server is 192.0.2.1 this web server is connected with internet and uh, internet is connected with my edge router this is my r1 between internet and my edge router i am using this public ip address 1.1.1.0/30 here ip address is .1 here ip address is .2 in my Uh, private network we have one dhcp server and dhcp server ip address is 172.16.1.10 this dhcp server is responsible to provide ip addresses to this client machine and this is my private network here we have two pc and these two pc are not able to access this server or on internet so we will troubleshoot it we will verify the issue first and then we will troubleshoot the issue see guys whenever you need to troubleshoot net or uh, net related problem first of all you should check these six things like interface configuration because maybe interface not configured correctly after that you should check uh, pool pool configuration maybe pool configuration is wrong then you should check public ip address reachability like from router number 1 The, uh, the public ip address of uh, internet router is 1.1.1.2 so this ip address 1.1.1.2 should be reachable from r1 right there should be reachability between these two public ip address so you should check that that public ip address are reachable is reachable or not then you should check access control list because uh, access list may not reference the correct inside device yeah this is also possibility that uh, that the uh, you know access control list is not matching the source like is not reference the correct inside device like like source should be the ip address of these two computer in in the net configuration and we will define source with the help of access control list we are define you know source uh in the net configuration with access control list so access control list should be configured correctly access control list should reference the correct inside devices and then you should check uh, acl and pool uh not mapped correctly this can be also issue so you should check acl and pool map is uh, pool is mapped correctly or not then maybe overload keyword is missing because of that also sometime you will see one one computer is able to access the internet but other one is not able to access the internet okay so these six point you should follow to troubleshoot the net issue in this scenario we have not only net issue we have some you know other issue as well like issue of dhcp and issue of net issue of default route configuration on edge router so we will troubleshoot and we will verify everything step by step so here guys i have console of all devices you can see first of all i am going to uh, verify the issue that really pc1 or pc2 is not able to access internet so from pc1 you can see i have console of router 1 router 1 i have console of dhcp server i have console of pc1 and pc2 i don't have access of internet router and uh, the server okay so let me verify the issue first from pc1 i am going to ping the server ping 192.0.2.1 yes you can see i am not able to access this server from pc number 2 also i am going to verify ping 192.0.2.1 from pc2 also you can see i am not able to access the server but here i am getting this error request timeout and here you can see i am getting this error that host unreachable this ip address is unreachable 1.10.1.1.10 that means on pc1 default gateway is 10.1.1.10 but default gateway should be 10.1.1.1 right so you can see default gateway is not reachable here from pc number 1 and from pc number 2 default gateway is reachable but still i am not able to access the server 
okay so you can see on pc1 we have different issue on pc2 we have different issue first of all we will correct the default gateway on pc1 why here default gateway is incorrect let me check so ip all here default gateway is you can see one 10.1.1.10 .1 .1 and the ip address is 10.1.1.12 okay the ip address is uh, can be anything from this subnet 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and on pc number two if you will check ip so ip all here you can see ip address is 10.1.1.3 and gateway is 10.1.1.1 gateway is correct okay here we have configured i think ip addresses manually let me try to get ip address from dhcp so on pc1 i am going to write this command ip dhcp let me uh, assign one IP address on this PC from DHCP server so you can see Dora process is completed and this PC have got one IP address that is 10.1.1.2 slash 24 and gateway is 10.1.1.10 that means DHCP server is providing wrong gateway DHCP server is providing wrong gateway IP address on PC number 2 also if you will check IP DHCP so this time this PC will also get you know wrong default gateway dora process is completed and now this pc will get one ip address here you can see 10.1.1.4 and gateway is 10.1.1.10 so first of all we need to correct the dhcp configuration on dhcp server so let me take you to dhcp server here and if you will check the running configuration of this server here we should change host name also host name let's say dhcp and on this DHCP server, I am going to show you running configuration. So, do so run. In do so run, you can see IP DHCP exclude address 10.1.1.1. That is correct. IP DHCP pool Cisco network is 10.1.1.0. Submit mask 255.255.255.0. That is correct. But here you can see default router IP address is incorrect. It should be 10.1.1.1. So, first of all, let me correct this. Say IP DHCP pool Cisco and here i am going to remove this command first say no and to this command remove this command and then i am going to say default router 10.1.1.1 okay that is the correct configuration of dscp this is the correct configuration of dscp server now again let me assign one ip address on pc from dscp so say ip dscp again dora process is completed and now let me check this PC have got correct default gateway or not. Yes, you can see IP address is 10.1.1.2 and default gateway is this time 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 and on PC number 2 also IP DHCP this PC should also get correct IP address and correct default gateway. Yes, you can see 10.1.1.4 is the IP address of this PC and default gateway is 10.1.1.1. Fine. Now, from both PC, if you will ping the internet server, ping 192.0.2.1, you can see here also I will get request timeout error from my default gateway and from PC2 also I will get same error ping 192.0.2.1 here also i am getting same error request timeout fine now here till now we can do one thing from pc from pc if i am not able to ping outside server i should first check the reachability to default gateway so i can ping 10.1.1.1 let me check the reachability from my default gateway so you can see i am getting the reply from my default gateway that means there is reachability the, we don't have any problem between pc and default gateway pc1 is able to ping their default gateway and pc2 is i think also able to ping their default gateway ping 10.1.1.1 yes you can see i'm getting reply from my default gateway 10.1.1.1 so now we are going to access the router and we will verify what is the problem why these pc are not able to access outside server so as i told you first of all you should verify inter interface configuration right so on this router 
on this router you can see fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected my connected to my inside network so this interface should configure as inside interface and serial 2 slash 0 is connected with outside network means to internet so this interface should configure as ip net outside so let me check the running configuration of fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and serial 2 slash 0 so let me run so run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 command here and as you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, ip configuration is ip net sorry net configuration is correct interface configuration is correct ip net inside this interface is configured as ip net inside here we have ip helper address also because dhcp server belongs to different network then i should check the running configuration of serial 2 slash 0 so run serial so run interface serial 2 slash 0 2 slash 0 so 2 slash 0 interface should be this interface should be outside but you can see here this interface is configured as inside this is incorrect this interface is outside this interface is connected with public network so let me correct this configuration here go to again config t mode and then interface serial 2 slash 0 and let me say ip net outside right i have changed the configuration now if you will verify so run interface serial 2 slash 0 so on this interface you can see net configuration is correct ip net outside now again i am going to try to ping this server http server web server from pc number one let me check now if pc is able to ping or not so ping 192.0.2.1 still you can see pc is getting uh, error request timeout error that means pc is not able to access the outside server again i am going to troubleshoot router number one edge router because we cannot check the configuration on internet router so next step is you should check uh, you should check the public ip address reachability so i am going to ping the public remote public ip address means 1.1.2 so let me ping 1.1.2 1.1.2 i am able to ping 1.1.2 so there is public reachability if there is public reachability right you should also check the ip configuration on you know uh, outside interface or inside interface so on in inside interface my ip is correct as you know on inside interface so run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 here ip address is correct 10.1.1.1 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 because sometime you know it it can be possible that we have configured wrong submit mask on outside interface or on inside interface so let me check the ip configuration on serial 2 slash 0 so run interface serial 2 slash 0 and here you can see correct ip address is incorrect not correct ip 1.1.1.1 and submit mask is 255.255.255.0 but here you can see we are using public ip address with slash 30 so submit mask should be 255.255.255.252 so here we need to correct the ip configuration on serial 2 slash 0 so let me take you again on serial 2 slash 0 here i am going to say ip address 1.1.1 and 255.255.255.252 and now if you will verify the configuration again here configuration of serial 2 slash 0 now you can see ip address is ip configuration is correct and this time one more thing we can do from this router also you should check from your edge router you are able to access the outside server or not so from this router let me ping the server ping 192.162.0.2.1 from this server am i able to ping this from my edge router am i able to ping this server so no answer is no from my edge router also i am not able to ping the server so definitely pc cannot access the resources on this server so if i am not able to ping the http server from my edge router i should verify the default gateway configuration also because my public ip address is reachable right then maybe default uh, uh, route configuration is incorrect so let me do one thing so run and here i am going to check so run section ip route let me check 
the default rot configuration and here you can see ip rot 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0 and next hop IP address is incorrect. Next hop IP address should be 1.1.1.2, not 10. Here we have configured uh, incorrect uh, next hop IP address in the default route. So first of all, I am going to remove this entry, say no, and to this entry, let me remove this entry. Now we don't have any default route here. I am going to configure again one default route, IP route 0 .0 .0, 0 .0 0.0.0.0.0.0, and this time next, next hop is 1.1.1.2. Okay, and now let me ping the server 192.0.2.1. Yes, now you can see I am able to ping this server from Edge Router, right? And here we can check the reachability to this server from a LAN interface also, like source fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. From fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, this is my LAN interface. If I am able to ping the server from LAN interface, that means PC should also be able to ping the server and you can see I am able to ping the server from a LAN interface also so now I am going to check that PC1 and PC2 is able to access the server or not and this time it should you can see still I am not able to access HTTP server still I am not able to access HTTP server I am getting uh, the request timeout error from PC2 also let me check ping 192.0.2.1 from this PC also you can see I'm not able to access the server I'm getting same error so now what is problem because from the router router one router one I am able to ping the server I'm able to ping the server from my LAN interface also that means NAT configuration is correct that means NAT configuration is correct let me check once NAT configuration so run and we can say section IP NAT here IP NAT inside source list list number 10 and interface serial 2 slash 0 overload so NAT configuration is correct we have access control list 10 so now we should check access control list because see 10.1.1.1 is able to access because this this IP address is also part of my LAN network so this IP address is able to access the server but PC1 PC2 is not able to access the server so that means you we should check access control list when we have this type of problem maybe only this IP address is a permit in access control list or IP address of PC2 and 1 is not able to is not permitted in access control list so let me check access list so access list and access list number 10 here you can see okay here you can see exactly this is incorrect entry because this entry this statement will allow only 10.1.1.1 to access outside resources here we have match a particular IP address and we have only one match because we have uh, uh, ping this server on from this interface okay now we need to change access control list con configuration also so first of all I am going to remove this access control list configuration say no access list 10 and then access list 10 and permit and I am going to permit the entire network 10.1.1.0 wildcard mask should be 0 0.0.255 .0 and now this time so access list now my access control list looks like fine you can see and again I am going to check the connectivity from PC1 let me check ping yeah now you can see PC1 is able to ping the server and now PC1 can access the resources on this web server from PC2 also we should check the connectivity and from PC2 also you can see I'm able to ping HTTP server so guys this was a small troubleshooting of NAT network address translation we also understood how to troubleshoot DHCP if we have configured wrong default gateway on DHCP right and what can be the issue if LAN users are not able to access outside uh, servers so that's all for today guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching